Hello everybody. This is your friendly reminder. Start those onions from seed. Because I always need a reminder to get my onions started early. I thought I'd share this video with those of you who, like me, need a little reminder this time of year to get sowing. I find onions easy and economical to start from seed. The hardest part is remembering to get them started early enough. I'm in Ohio, zone 6A, and my last average frost date in the spring is right around May 10th to May 15th. And I like to have my onion seedlings ready to transplant out into the garden as early in the spring as possible. I typically aim for mid-March to very early April. So starting my seeds indoors in late December to early January works to give me a harvest by about mid-June. And because I know I will probably get this question, I don't like direct sowing my onions. And this is because I find that they are best sown, grown, and harvested in cooler weather. If I were to direct sow my onion seeds as soon as the ground could be worked in the spring, that's gonna be about mid-March for me. If I were to direct sow them in mid-March, I wouldn't be looking at a harvest until the very hottest, driest, and most humid days of my summer, which is not ideal for a nice onion crop. Onion seeds can be sown in flats or cells. Onions are super easy to thin and divide when they're small, so some folks densely sow flats and separate each little onion seedling. I like the convenience and neatness of individual cells, so that's what I typically use. Just make sure whatever you're using has drainage holes in the bottom. Generally, any type of planting medium that's suitable for seed starting will work just fine for onions. Just opt for something with a light and fluffy texture and with excellent drainage. I sow my onion seed and lightly cover it with soil. About a quarter of an inch is ideal. Bury the seeds too deep and your seeds may not sprout, too shallow and seedlings may have a tough time rooting. I cover my onion trays with domes to hasten germination. Typically at average home temperature, say around 65 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit, these will germinate in seven to 10 days, sometimes more quickly. And as soon as that seed germinates, I take the humidity dome off. I do not use heat mats for my onions or any of my cool season crops for that matter. And I start all of my seedlings, onions included, on this light rack with a 12 on, 12 off light cycle. Once my seedlings are up about an inch, I will put a gentle fan on them for at least a couple of days a week, or at the very least, I will come through and brush them with my hands several times a day. This helps to strengthen seedlings and it can also help promote root growth. A fan can also help with damping off issues. At this size, I also start to feed my onion seedlings. I opt for an all natural, lower nitrogen, slightly higher phosphorus ratio because I want to see my seedlings put on a lot of nice healthy root growth at this stage, not a lot of lush green top growth. I generally pick a formula that I can just add to the water and I feed my seedlings every time I water them, which is usually about once a week. Once my seedlings are about four to five inches tall, they can start to look a little scraggly. At this point, I like to give them a little haircut, trimming them down to about one to two inches tall. I typically trim them several times prior to transplanting them out, but I do not trim them at all once they're transplanted outdoors. I find that trimming my seedlings like this helps to give me a stronger, more robust and tidy looking seedling. And just a quick word on variety selection. Here in Ohio for spring planting, I stick to long day or intermediate day neutral varieties. I have found that short day onions will work for me if planted in an overwintering scenario, but they don't do well when spring planted. And that's it. In a couple of months, these will be ready for transplanting out into the garden. And believe it or not, these will catch right up to those older, larger onion transplants that you can get from seed catalogs. I've also found that onions grown from seed far outperform onion sets. 
And for more information on growing onions, as well as the harvest, curing, and storage of your onion crops, be sure to check out my onion playlist, which I have linked in the video description below. Now be sure to let me know in the comments below, where are you growing and are you starting your onions from seed this year? And if you enjoyed today's video, please consider subscribing to my channel, Growfully with Jenna. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.